Hi, and welcome to day eight. We are going to talk today about wanting our children to have a desire to please God. And I can totally speak from personal experience that people pleasing can lead to bad things. <laughs> that if our children have a desire to please people over pleasing God, it can be very damaging and very dangerous in their in their spiritual life and in their walk. So um, like in Galatians 1.10, this was actually a life verse that I chose for myself when I was in college. Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. And it's true. It, this verse makes it very clear that people pleasing is in direct opposition to God pleasing and being a servant of Christ. So even if you're trying to please people that have good expectations for you that are godly and biblical, just the idea of wanting to please them is wrong. And we could get into a whole discussion about how, you know, people pleasing on some levels could be good or, you know, could, uh, you know, you could be like Paul and be, you know, all things to all people. And, and there are good facets to that type of personality. But the actual act of wanting to please people above wanting to please God is sin. And there's no getting around that. So that's what we're praying against. And we're not even praying against that. We're praying for the positive characteristic of, of this desire to please God in the lives of our children, that their identity wouldn't be in wanting to project this perfect image on social media so people will like them, but that their desire would be to project Jesus, that they would want to please God just for the sake of, of being more like Christ and, and communing with God on a deeper level. So for those who do want to please people, um, I think for me personally, it has kept me from serving God in the fullest capacity because I'm focusing on the wrong things. And you can focus on good things when you're trying to please people but it can be a form of deception. So I think as we pray for our kids, um, we want them to hear the shepherd's voice above all of the other noise that they're hearing through social media, through um, friendships, uh, through even church and, and ministry. We want them to hear the shepherd's voice above all else because that is the path to abundant life. And that's God's abundant life, not just abundance, which there's lots of good stuff out there, but God's abundant life, life to the full, God's best, not just good, but God's best. And that's what we want for them. So let's pray. Father God, we just come before you today acknowledging that we are not perfect and that we very often, I know I myself am going to confess that I too often struggle with people pleasing or just elevating the world's expectations of me over your expectations. God, we turn from that. We repent of it and we run the other way, God, so that we can be an example of God chasers. We want to be God chasers and God pleasers, not people pleasers, so that we can be an example to our children. We just praise you for your greatness God, we submit ourselves to you as humble servants. We would rather be doorkeepers in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Give us that desire to please you, Lord, that we would just be content with the, the hem of your robe, God, but you offer us your whole self. We thank you for that privilege of being called your children and for that love that just draws us in. And we pray that same thing for our kids. We pray that you would plant a desire in their hearts to please you above all else. We pray for single-heartedness, God, that their loyalties would not be in any way divided, that their priorities would be clear and strong and true, that you would just cut the cord, God, sever the ties to the world that might keep them from seeing clearly, open their eyes to the truth and help them to distinguish your voice from all of the noise that they're hearing around them, God, that the voice of the shepherd would be heard loud and clear. We pray that you'd protect them from idolatry in any way, but specifically in the form of people pleasing, that you would firmly establish their identity as your children, 
that they would not need to seek validation from anyone or anything else. God, that their ultimate reward would be hearing from you, well done, good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name, amen.